At the Royal Aircraft Establishment, Bedford, a new wind tunnel goes into service. The most powerful and complex in Britain, and believed to be second to none in the world. Through this tunnel, air can be driven at nearly three times the speed of sound. It costs 11 million pounds to build, but to aircraft and rocket designers, it's worth its weight in gold. 68,000 tubes in the tunnel's end wall ensure that the tremendous thrust developed by the big blower plant will flow evenly and smoothly. The tunnel will be used to test scale models, either of complete aircraft or of basic shapes, to see how they behave at air speeds we have never been able to produce experimentally before. The effects are shown electronically on big monitor screens. Minister of Supply, Aubrey Jones, explains this great new achievement to an audience of service and civil aircraft experts, and then inaugurates the tunnel by pressing the button which starts the mighty motors turning. Watching the monitor screen is dramatic enough for the layman, but the experts need to know a great deal more. A mass of computers and indicators tell them exactly what is happening inside the racing airstream. Precious knowledge which will help to keep Britain in the forefront of world aviation. But this is not all that RAE Bedford has to offer the designer. Here's a DH-110 mounting the ramp of the only land-based steam catapult this side of the Atlantic, part of the establishment's flight testing equipment. After the DH-110, a Seahawk. If we are cutting down our manned aircraft defences, are all these millions of pounds wasted? The answer is definitely no. Even in the services, aircraft are still needed for some purposes, and they must be the best in the world. And the resources of RAE Bedford are available to civil designers as well. Britain holds the world airspeed record, but aero engineers and civil aircraft are eagerly bought by many nations. Bedford and Farnborough are a national asset, a capital investment in Britain's future.